Am I the asshole for getting mad at my husband because he laughed when I told him to reheat his own dinner? For context underscore I'm a Psalm with two kids, three years old and six malliants old. My husband is an ambulance driver. He works odd hours and comes home unexpectedly. He expects dinner or lunch ready whenever he gets home, whether I'm sleeping or busy with the kids. It's exhausting but do it because I know how hard he works. After struggling with this for long, my mom suggested that I start pre-making meals so that dinner or lunch can be ready when he's home, all he's gotta do is just reheat it. I immediately got to it and went grocery shopping and spent an entire two days making meals and storing them in the fridge. His response to this idea is, whatever, I was sort of relieved cause now I could sleep properly, the kids care won't get interrupted etc. Well, at 11 p.m. last night, he comes home while I'm sleeping after putting the baby to sleep. I wake up to him shouting for me from the living room. I rush out and ask what was happening and he tells me he's hungry and wants dinner. I tell him it's in the fridge and just needs to be reheated and he didn't have to wake me up for it. He tells me I need to go reheat it for him. I say no, not happening and he needs to reheat his own dinner. He starts laughing sarcastically which got me mad. He then tells me I'm ridiculous to assume that after working no stop for an entire shift that he should be expected to do a chore aka reheat dinner himself, when I'm here and I can do it. I start arguing with him after he complains I'm not doing enough and refuse to reheat it then I go back inside the bedroom and shut the door. He comes an hour later yelling about how I basically made him almost pass out from hunger just cause I'm petty trying to prove a point. I tell him he's being unreasonable to expect me to reheat his dinner when he could do it himself. He gives me a nasty look then tells me he's going to bed hungry and I'm responsible for this then heads out. This morning he silently gets dressed and leaves while turning his phone off. Oh honey. This is abuse. Please seek out support. Just because he isn't hitting you doesn't mean he is treating you appropriately. He is a full-grown adult, and he can make and heat his own food. If he doesn't like it he can move back in with his mother. I hope you make a plan and leave. I'm going to be straight with you. Reading your post gave me chills to my stomach and triggered me into what I thought was healed trauma. You're not the asshole. Not even one tiny bit. You're a good woman. Not the asshole and his response to you is deeply troubling, scary. Screaming and emotional manipulation is very abusive behavior. He's responsible for going to bed hungry, not you. He's responsible for ignoring your labor and that you also need sleep. I hope you have a good support network in place. His behavior is scary and you may want to have somewhere to go if it escalates and he doesn't get himself under control. Girl, I got news. You're in an abusive relationship. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Tonight tell him to reheat last night's dinner first. You're a partner, not a servant. And he's treating you worse than a servant, they get time to sleep. Not the asshole. Op. You need to leave this man. He has no regard for your well-being or the work you do at home. And the waking you up to feed him dinner is straight out of the 1950s. Talk to your mother. Make a plan, and get out of this relationship. It's only going to get worse as he becomes more selfish and entitled. Not the asshole. My 17-year-old son just got a part-time job after school. He regularly comes home around 8-9 p.m. and reheats his dinner. This is a bigger issue than microwaving some food. Not the asshole. And I'd get a therapist. Or a good divorce lawyer. You're not a slave. Some are still working full-time. Especially ones who are caring for infants without the help of their spouse. Am I the asshole for serving my sister's husband dinner using toy utensils? I, M17, moved in with you sister after my parents kicked me out for coming out. Another story, they said I'll be here temporarily till I get back to, normal, which I don't think I will, lol. But uh. Anyways, so I moved in with my sister and her husband about a month ago. FYI she does everything around the house, I started helping here and there, as well as looking after a two-year-old niece and now she's six months pregnant. Brother-in-law does nothing because he's the breadwinner as he claims but in my opinion he's taken it a bit too far. E.g. he'd tell her to start his laundry once he takes off his clothes, put dinner on the table once he's home, get the shower ready and so on. They fight a lot cause my sister is exhausted and burnt out. I usually put my headphones on and mind my own business but two nights ago there was a lot of commotion once heart home so I went to see what the issue was. Turns brother-in-law was complaining about dinner and my sister was too exhausted to get up. I mean the dinner was already cooked but he wanted her to put it for him on the table. I told my sister I'd do it, but instead of using their kitchen utensils, I used my niece's toy utensils like toy cup, toy plate, 
toy fork and knife and a tiny napkin. I put the food on the toy plate and the drink in the toy cup while brother-in-law was in the shower. He then came into the kitchen and sat down and stared at the plate for few seconds. He then looked at me and asked what the heel this was, and whether I was joking. I told him if he wanted to act like a helpless child, then he might as well get treated like one. He began yelling and my sister came inside. He then threw the napkin and stormed off upon saying that I'd disrespected him and that he'll let my parents know about what I did. My sister saw what I'd done and started laughing. I went inside my room but the argument didn't stop, now he's expecting an apology for me for meddling in his marriage and pulling this crappy stunt on him. I could be the asshole for this but I was just so mad for my sister and also sick and tired of being sick and tired of the nightly fighting over dinner. Okay, so this is funny as hell and he totally had it coming, but we all know you should have stayed way out of this. Lol though, I get that you were trying to stick up for your sister, who deserves that. Please accept my softest esh. You might have actually made them fight more. Abusive people like your brother-in-law often take these things out on people like your sister. Not the asshole. This guy sounds like a super misogynistic asshole. Good for you standing up for your sister. Not the asshole, but honestly op, in this situation, it might be better to keep your head low and stop antagonizing him. It sounds like you're surrounded by a really bad situation, but antagonizing an abusive individual is going to affect your sister more than it affects you. He will take it out on her. She is the one who is struggling. You are a guest in their home. If she needs help, you help her. Ignore him at best. You don't have to be a peacekeeper, but don't do the opposite. Although I commend you for what you did LMAO, everyone sucks here because most likely the repercussions will fall mostly onto your sister. Edit. Put esh. Not the asshole. The husband sounds like he needs a nap too. I mean. Hilarious response I strongly approve. However unfortunately it's not accomplished a thing and more likely than not your sister will suffer for it. Dude does not sound like a good husband, father, or Bill and she should probably end the relationship, but it's not up to us as outsiders to dictate that. Everyone sucks here ish but I'm only judging your brother-in-law xd. Petty? Maybe. Funny? Absolutely. Deserved? Yup. Are you the ah? No. Not the asshole. Putting yourself in a volatile situation here? Yes. What happens if brother-in-law kicks you out? Where will you go? This man seems angry. I wouldn't poke the bear. Esh. But what you did was hilarious and he had it coming. Tears of joy. Am I the asshole for making fun of a guy's girlfriend for following him around an event the whole night? Dot. We were at a wedding two days ago. A friend of ours was getting married. Many of our friends were also invited since we are all a huge company and we know each other. At some point the girlfriends, partners, wives of the guys were left alone at a table and we kind of chatted and left the rest of the men to have some space on their own. So this guy's girlfriend, that guy is also a friend, was with us at first but after a while she got up and started going around her bf. She'd not leave him alone and me and the other women found it extremely disrespectful how she kept following him around not giving him space. So I called her name and told her to approach me for a bit. I kindly told her that she's being disrespectful by following her boyfriend around and not giving him space to spend time with the other men and how she should sit down with us instead. She said, thanks but I'm okay don't worry about it, and left again. I followed her and told her she's looking like a clown following her boyfriend around like a lost puppy so she better act serious and shit the fuck down with us. That's when she got all pissy and told me to mind my business and how this doesn't concern her. She left and went to find her boyfriend. Then her boyfriend came to me, again her boyfriend is also a friend of mine, and told me I was out of line trying to police what his girlfriend does and where she goes and he told me she has social anxiety and it's one of the few public and crowded events she's attended in a while and doesn't do well with strangers which is what we are to her. I told him I was looking out for him in case she annoyed him by following him around and I just thought he should have some space. He told me I should have minded my business and not get involved. Am I the asshole? You are the asshole. Who the fuck are you to tell someone else how to handle their own relationship? You were so out of line and ridiculous it's not even funny. You are the asshole like what the hell is wrong with you? She's supposed to sit and play pretend instead of be around her s, o. You need to stop watching so much daytime TV. Major you are the asshole. You're no one to tell her what she should do at a party. You have no idea how people with social anxiety function. It is very important for us to be with someone who we know all the time, because that's what makes us comfortable. How dare you try to police her? 
reading your post, it's clear what kind of a person you are and why she wouldn't want to sit with you and chat with you. Good for the boyfriend that he decided to call you out. Info. How are you posting on Reddit from 1950s? You are the asshole. How is hanging out with your own boyfriend at an event they attended together disrespectful? You are the asshole. Maybe she didn't care for whatever conversation you were having at the table. Based on your behavior it was more than likely petty shit talking about other people. Maybe she didn't feel comfortable sitting with a bunch of people she doesn't know. It doesn't really matter why she got up and followed her bf. There's nothing wrong with what she did, and if there was a problem the only person who has the right to make that determination is her boyfriend. No one complained to you about her behavior. You made it your problem when you should have just minded your own business. You are the asshole you and your friends sound like the mean girls from school. Absolutely ludicrous that you think you can tell other people who to sit with at an event. Seriously who do you think you are? This post also has some quite misogynistic undertones. Two were the men in the drawing room with their brandy and cigars. I wonder why she didn't want to spend time with you, really, it's a mystery. Are you actually for real or are you just trolling? Of course you are the asshole, massively. Who do you think you are telling people how to act? Also, funny to laugh at her for following her boyfriend around while you chased after her telling her to sit down with you instead. Am I the asshole for having a scary kitty around children? I, M27, have a cat named Stargazer. I adopted her around three years ago and she's truly a little survivor. She was abused and as a result has no eyes and only three three legs. Nobody wanted to adopt her because of his deformities and she's also a black cat so I did because she was gonna be euthanized otherwise. My sister moved into my city this week and her and her husband, both 43, needed someone to watch the kids since they were gonna have a grown-up celebrate party. I agreed. Both my nieces are 11 so they're not too little for me to handle and I'd also be great enrichment for my cat since she loves children and women, I'm the only man she trusts. My nieces loved her and while they first were a little scared they thought she was cute after a while. My sister went to pick them up and as the bell rang my cat went running also to the door and when my sister saw her she freaked out and started screaming. My cat ran away due to the noise and my sister started yelling at me that I let my cat around her kids and saying she's demonic. The next day her husband called and said unless the cat goes I'll never have them over again. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole, I am sure Stargazer is an adorable precious BB, I wanna see hair. Not the asshole oh my, I hate these people. I'm sorry. These people are absolutely insane. Never do stuff for them again. If they do not acknowledge how fucked up their thinking is, I'd really never have them over. Absolutely zero tolerance towards them, gosh. I'm so infuriated. Guess they just lost their free babysitter then. Sucks to be them. They sound horribly judgmental snd what a lesson to teach little children. Things that looks different are scary and demonic. I'm sorry you have such close minded family. Your cat sounds awesome and good on you for the react you. I love black kitties and my mom's cats both are missing one eye. I've had cats with three legs and a deaf cat. They were all super awesome kitties. Not the asshole. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Not the asshole is she going to teach her kids to scream when they encounter a human with a disability too? Not the asshole. Damn when you said, scary. Cat I assumed that you adopted a rescue with behavior issues, that of course deserve love as well and can be retaught, but takes time. Not a sweet little girl who's had a really rough life and deserves just as much love, pets, scratches and belly rubs as any other kitty out there. You love her and your nieces love her, end of story. Just remember your brother-in-law and sister came to you for help. They asked you to babysit your nieces, you are doing them a favor and they are being r, choosing beggars. If Reddit has taught me anything they will come crawling back the next time they need a babysitter and that is when you tell them Stargazer, love that name BTW, is a non-negotiable part of your babysitting package. Take it or leave it. Not the asshole. My cat ran away due to the noise, you mean, she ran away from the door, right? Not that she ran away. Sorry guys, I really value my privacy and don't like sharing things on the internet. You'll have to imagine Stargazer. Your sister needs an exorcism. She is seeing demons. Quick get her to an exorcist. Not the asshole. 